All right, boys and girls, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our trifold paper. All right, so get out the dot trifold, and we're, today we're gonna to be working on boxes four and five. For some of it, I'm going to go ahead and read to you or explain or teach you as we go, but make sure as I'm reading through it, you're gonna mark your answers. On some of the boxes, I may go back later and tell you what the answers are, so, or after I'm done with the complete box or set of directions for each thing, um, each skill and then we'll go over it at the end. So make sure you're marking your answers as we go through and as I'm reading things. We're gonna start here in box four with the mechanics, and we're gonna be talking about ED and ING endings again. Now remember, ED endings, it means it happens when? In the past, always. ED, if it's an ending, okay, it has to be at the end of a root word, happens in the past. If we put an ING ending, I am talking to you right now. When is it happening? ING usually means that it's happening right this instant, which we call that the present. It's happening right now. Okay, so again, we're going to be talking about past and present. Okay, things that already happened or things that are happening right now. I'm going to read these sentences to you. We have four sentences. And then you need to circle the verb that goes into the line. So all of them, we have a root word verb. We have a verb with an ed ending and a verb with an ing ending. So you're going to choose what one would make the most sense. Let's look at number one. Kate is blank on her bed. Kate is blank on her bed. Go ahead and choose jump, jumped, or jumping. And if you need to pause the video at any time um, to give yourself more time to read through the questions, go ahead and do so. Number two. Sophie is blank at her brother. Sophie is blank at her brother. Laugh, laughed, or laughing. So let's say I chose laughed, okay? Let's fill it in. Sophie is laughed at her brother. Does that make sense? No, so make sure you check your work and after you choose your word, make sure your sentence still makes sense. So go ahead and either choose laugh or laughing for that one. Sentence number three. Yesterday, a key word, yesterday. Yesterday, Addie blank to school. Yesterday, Addie blank to school. Walk, walked, or walking. Well, with this key word alone, yesterday, you should know what, without even reading these three words, what one you're going to choose, but still make sure you check your work and make sure it makes sense. And number four, I am blank to the music. I am blank to the music. Your words are dance, danced, or dancing. Go ahead and choose the right word. And here is your hint, I am. Okay, but make sure your word makes sense. I'll give you five, four, three, two, one. Let's go over your answers. Kate is jumping on her bed. Jumping. Number two, Sophie is laughing. So what are the two key words you saw there? We used ing and ing. What words, what verb? Is, is, okay? The key word there is is. That means it's happening right now, okay? Number three, I gave you a big hint. Yesterday, if it already happened in the past, we know what ending we need. ED ending walked, but let's make sure it makes sense. Yesterday, Addie walked to school. Does that make sense? It does, so the ED ending was correct. And then I am blank to the music. I am dance to the music. I am dance to the music. I am dancing to the music. If you're doing it, I am doing it right now. I am dancing, I-N-G ending. Make sure you have those correct. If not, go ahead and fix whatever you need to. Possessive pronouns. Remember, pronouns are words that replace nouns. So instead of being specific and calling a girl Sophie or even saying the girl, I'm going to call her her or say she, okay? Those are pronouns. Pronouns replace nouns. So let's go ahead. We're going to be finding the possessive pronouns, still the pronouns, don't let the possessive trick you, okay? In each sentence, circle the possessive pronoun. So here we go. Her shoes are green. What is the possessive pronoun or the pronoun in this sentence? Her shoes are green. What pronoun replaced the noun? Her, 
I'll do that one with you. The rest you're going to answer and then we'll go over them at the end. Okay, instead of saying Mrs. Wolf's shoes are green, okay, they're mine. Mrs. Wolf's shoes are green. I replace Mrs. Wolf with her shoes are green. Here's sentence two. His hat is blue. Circle the pronoun. His hat is blue. Number three. Its legs are hairy. Its legs are hairy. Number four. Do you have her shoes? Do you have her shoes? And the last one, his keys are lost. His keys are lost. So for number two, his hat is blue. What is the pronoun? His. His is the pronoun. It replaced a boy's name. Its legs are hairy. What is the pronoun here? Its legs are hairy. Is hairy a pronoun? Did that replace a noun? No, that's describing, so that's not even a noun. Harry is describing, it's an adjective. How about legs? Okay, well legs, they are a noun. We can touch our legs, it's a thing, okay? But did the pronoun replace the noun? No, so what is the possessive pronoun here? It's, 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 it's. Do you have her shoes? Well, this is a repeat from number one. Do you have her shoes? Her is the pronoun here. And the last one, his keys are lost. What is the possessive pronoun? His. So make sure you check your work. If you need to fix any of the, those, go ahead. I'm going to actually go to a different page here. Let me read the directions and then I'm going to um, switch over. Um, write two words with the same long E spelling pattern. So we don't necessarily want rhyming words. We just want the same spelling pattern. So let's take a look at the word funny. The spelling pattern here is with Mr. Y, the robber guy. Okay, so when we look at the word funny, we're going to find two other words that have the same pattern, spelling pattern as funny. The second one is hurried, I-E-E, -E, okay, hurried. And in this case, boys and girls, the root word here was hurry. And what they did was took off the Y, added an I, and then made the E-D ending. So the I replaced it, replaced Mr. Y there. It was Mr. Y at one point, but since we added an ending, we had to change it. But anyways, I-E-E -E at the end, okay, hurry. And then the last one is monkey with an E-Y ending. Now this was not on our phonics page this week. That's okay. Just know E-Y at the end of a word also says E, okay? Monk E. So let's take a look at my page that I have for you. And I'm going to give you an exam examples of words. You're going to find the words that I put up on the board to match our rules. So let's look. Funny. Our spelling pattern here is Mr. Y, the robber guy. So we want two words out of my four that follow Mr. Y, the robber guy. Let's take a look. Bunnies, cozy, jelly, and feel. Well, what two words in this list have the same spelling pattern with Mr. Y? Does this have Mr. Y? Absolutely not, so we're not going to use bunnies. Does this have Mr. Y? Yes, it does, so we're going to use cozy. You can start writing it now, or you can continue to listen. Let's look at this one. Does it have Mr. Y? Gel E. Yes, it does. And how about this one? Field. Does it have Mr. Y? So your two answers you're going to write on um, box five is cozy and jelly. Go ahead and write them. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do so. The next one is hurried. And we have our I-E at the end to say E, her E, okay? Let's find two words that follow the same spelling pattern here. Let's look at our ending, okay? I-E, cop, eed, copy. Does it have the same ending as hurried? Yes, it does, I-E-D there. The next one, hair, E. Does it have the same spelling ending? No, this one does not. Okay, let's break up this word. Slip. Does it have the same ending? Slippery. 
That one also does not follow our IE rule. Okay, and let's look at this one. Carried, carried, I carried my baby to the store. Carried, does it have the same spelling pattern? It does. So here are two answers that you're going to write on the second line. Copied, carried. I'll move out of the way. You can pause the video to get those on your line. When you hit play, I'm moving on to the last one, which is monkey. All right, monkey, our spelling pattern here is E-Y this time, E-Y. So let's look at our first one. E-Y also says E, okay? So K, E, key. Does it have the same spelling pattern as monkey? Yes, it does, E-Y at the end, okay? How about pennies, pennies? Does it have the same spelling pattern? No, okay? How about honey? Honey, I love honey with my chicken nuggets. Honey, does it have the same spelling pattern as monkey? Yes, that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And the last one here, Mr. Y comes in with furry. My cat is furry. And it has just the Y ending, so does it follow the same spelling pattern? It does not. So for line number three, you need to copy key and honey. Now, are there other rules or other words that follow these rules? There sure is, but I tried to do it this way to make it easier for you and we weren't thinking of a bazillion different words. So go ahead and copy these down, the answers, if you have not yet. Um, pause the video if you need to. When you hit play, I'm going to resume with the rest of box number five. All right, moving on. Circle the two words that have the same beginning sound, beginning at the front of the word. So listen and circle. Slip, slime, flip. Go ahead and circle the two words with the same beginning sound. Slip, slime, flip. Number two, nest, rest, nap. Same beginning sounds. Nest, rest, nap. Go ahead and circle. And number three, trunk, trap, skunk. Trunk, trap, skunk. Circle the two words with the same beginning sound. And then we'll go over the answers. So number one, slip, slime, flip. The same beginning sounds, slip and slime. They both have the sl blend at the beginning. Number two, nest, rest, nap. You should have circled nest and nap. And number three, trunk, trap, skunk. The two same beginning sounds, trunk and trap. Fix anything that you need to. If not, we're going to move on to the next box. Again, pause at any time that you need to slow down. Directions, write the number of sounds in each word. Not syllables here, sounds, just like we tap for our spelling test or our phonics papers. So the first word is sand. Let's tap it together. S and. This one for us that I teach you, boys and girls, we teach and as a hunk and chunk because and, although it qualifies as a short A word, we don't say s and. Okay, that's not how we talk. So s and. And with that hunk and chunk. So how many sounds? S and how many taps did we do? We did two there. Jump. Let's tap it. J, a, uh, m, mm, p. How many sounds? J, a, uh, m, mm, p. There are four sounds there. Number three, grass. Let's tap it. Grass. G, r, a, s. Grass. How many taps? I still have one finger left, so. That means four. Top, top, let's tap it. T, a, p. How many taps did you get? T, a, p, top. Three. Hunt, h, a, n, t, hunt. How many taps? Four, and nest, n, e, Nest. How many taps there? You should have gotten four. The 
The last one I am going to have you do on your own, okay? I am going to help you out though. We're going to underline the first letter in each of these words. Pushed above teacher, okay? Think about the alphabet. If you have to say the alphabet in your head, you're going to write these words in ABC order. The first one is very obvi obvious because A, B, C, what letter comes first in our alphabet? And A, we have a, le a word here with the letter A at the beginning, which is above. So everybody can write above on the first line and cross it off. Now you need to think about the alphabet, say it in your head and decide if push or teacher is going to come second and then whatever is left is the word that's going to go third. That we are done with trifold boxes four and five. Fantastic job um, on today's lessons. Keep working hard for me, boys and girls.